Hi, today we're looking at Davis Sextons. There are three models in the range, the Mark III, which is this one, the Mark 15, and the Mark 25. Let's start with the Mark III. This is a full-size sextant, but it's a simple one. It's aimed at the classroom, and you can use it for sun and moon sites. You can't use it for stars and planets because there isn't a telescope. The thing that really limits it for me, for practical use on a boat, is the fact that the, the arm can't be locked. So when you've taken a sight, if you joggle it before you've read the sight, you have to start again. You'll see on the other sextants the, the way that the arm locks in place. Another little bit of a limitation is that there are only two sunshades and two horizon shades. Uh, which can be limiting, uh, and uh, so for serious use, I would go for the Mark 15 or Mark 25. The Mark 15, going back to the point about locking the arm, when you move the arm, you pull this trigger here. When you let go, the arm is locked in place, and you make small adjustments using the micrometer and reading then from the micrometer and the vernier scale. There are three horizon shades this time and four sunshades. That's a lot more flexibility and will do for any combination at any light level. For sun and moon, to be honest, I wouldn't bother with the telescope. You can just remove it and look straight through there. The view on here is a split view showing the horizon on the left and the heavenly body, sun, moon and planets, on the right. You'll see in a minute on the Mark 25 uh, a different way of doing that. So, the Mark 25 is outwardly very similar to the Mark 15. It's grey instead of black. But the two big differences are, first of all, that there's a light on the arc. Why do you need a light on the arc? Well, it's for reading star sights, which you do at dawn and dusk. The earliest sight you'll do in the morning, normally there's a pretty poor horizon, and just as the horizon is visible, you'll take your first star sights. It's much easier to read the... Um, the angle you've just taken, if there's a light there. The alternative is holding a torch in your mouth. The other thing that the Mark 25 has is an all-view screen. Uh, Davis call it the beam converger, and the beam converger superimposes the heavenly body, sun, moon or stars, directly on the whole screen that you're looking at, and it looks like this. So, with the Mark 25, you get a light on the scale, and you get a beam converger. With the Mark 15, it's a split mirror, silvered on one side and clear on the other side, uh, and no light. That's really the difference between it. Which is best? It's really what, up to you. For me, I've used the Mark 15 so much uh, that I'm quite happy with it for sun and moon, and for, for star shots morning and evening, I do hold a little torch in my mouth. But it must be said that it's much more convenient if you've got a light on the scale. The choice is yours.